I'm Ashley Devorkin for FoxNews.com with a fun science segment for you today as Astronomy Magazine introduces the weird moons of the cosmos. From one that looks like the Star Wars Death Star to one that's on fire. Joining us now with the details is Carrie Farron, pro production editor of Astronomy Magazine. Welcome, Carrie. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So first, how many moons are in our solar system and how many of them would you classify as weird moons? Um, there are more than 170 in our solar system so far, and we're finding new ones all the time. And pretty much you could almost classify every one as weird in its own right, based on the fact that none of them we're finding are exactly like the moon we know, our moon. Of course. And now let's run through them. I know you gave us some examples. Tell us about this Star Wars Death Star lookalike. Which one is that? Mimas, which is a, uh, it's a satellite or moon of Saturn, and what's crazy about it is it's the smallest round moon in the solar system, but technically the Death Star came first. They look very similar, and many people mistakenly assume that the Death Star was modeled after Mimas, but Star Wars came out in 1977, and at that time we didn't really know what Mimas looked like. It wasn't until Voyager, the Voyager 1 spacecraft, got out to the realm of Saturn that they realized in, it looked like the Death Star, and that was three years later in 1980. And the reason it looks like the Death Star is because it has this huge crater that covers one-third of its surface, which is aptly named Herschel after the moon's discoverer, mm -hmm. and it's six miles deep, and they scientists think that that impact basically came close to breaking Mimas apart. So how about the world on fire, so to speak? Which moon is that? That is Io, which is a moon of Jupiter. It's larger than our moon, and it is the most volcanic moon in the solar system. It has plumes of lava that shoot 250 miles high. And it's basically all that internal heat that it's getting from Jupiter is basically turning it inside out. And it's also a fun one to look like. It looks a little bit like a pockmarked pizza. <laughs> And now what about the one without fire, with a crust that's made of ice blocks? That would be um, its companion, which is Europa, which is another moon of uh, Jupiter. It is slightly smaller than our moon, and we believe water coats its surface. It's, um, it's water ice. And Jupiter's gravity warms the interior, which creates a subsurface ocean. And likely, it's about 60 miles deep. And if it is, in fact, a subsurface ocean, Europa would have more water than Earth. Interesting. Okay. And let's talk about the weirdest shaped moon of the solar system. That would be uh, one that's close to my heart. That would be Hyperion, which is another moon of Saturn. It's the largest irregular moon in the solar system, and it basically looks like a sponge. Much of it is hollow. It's ice and not rock, and basically they, scientists believe it's a rubble pile, that at some point a large impact broke it into these small chunks of rubble, and it literally looks like a sponge. And the one that looks like it has tiger stripes, tell us about that one. That's Enceladus, and it's the sixth largest moon of Saturn, and Cassini, the Cassini spacecraft that's currently around Saturn, Saturn has been spending a lot of time looking at Enceladus because of these tiger stripes on the South Pole, which are these fissures that are like 80 miles long, and they're warmer than the areas, and out of them shoot cryovolcanoes. There are these huge plumes of water and ice particles that come out, and it's basically creating a ring that Enceladus is basically creating a ring from these ice particles. Now, what other moons are explored in the magazine, or what other, what other topics um, can we expect? Um, the June issue, uh, Weird Moons, covers plenty more than just these moons. There's, um, there's moons of Neptune, moons of Uranus. Uh, there are tiny, tiny moons that are within the rings of Saturn. Oh, where can we go for a little more information then on what you're covering in Astronomy Magazine going um, forward? To get daily updates about the weird moons of, sol of the solar system and everything else astronomy related, head to our website at astronomy.com. We have regular updates about both the science and what you can see in the night sky. Carrie, thank you so much. Really appreciate you joining us today with all of this information. Very fascinating. Thanks for having me. And thank you, as always, for joining us here for foxnews.com. I'm Ashley Dvorkin.